Good morning. Thank you for joining this morning. Um, we're going to start with um, Shumabashi's Three Great Managers. And then they're going to watch a puja talk. It goes for about, oops, we got up to about 30 minutes. But I thought we'll just watch it. Um, and if need be, I'll just stop it so we can have a lovely meditation together. And, um, but we will start, I'm just lighting some incense. Um, and as we sing the three great mantras, um, I'll just do it, uh, Bandhan's Shumalaji, and, um, welcome Shumalaji to a morning meditation. Jai Shumalaji. Om Dwami Vasakshan Shri Maha Lakshmi Maha Saraswati Maha Kali Trigana Timika Kundalini Sakshat Shri Adi Shakti Mataji Shri Nimala Devi Namo Namaha Om Dwami Vasakshat Shri Kelki Sakshat Shri Adi Shakti Mataji Shri Nimla Devi Namo Namaha Om Dvame Vasakshan Shri Kalki Sakshan Shri Sahasrara Swamini Mokshat Pradaini Mataji Shri Nimala Devi Namo Namaha Shri Please bless us with your morning, in this morning meditation, with your presence, with your vibrations, and with your love. Please fill every soul of our being with these qualities of yours. Jai Shri Mataji. Let's do a mantra to Sri Ganesha. Om Dwami Vasakshat Shri Ganesha Sakshat Shri Adi Shakti Mataji Shri Nimala Devi Namo Namaha Shri Ganesha, you are the remover of all obstacles. Please remove all the obstacles on our path that prevent us from reaching the joy of our spirit, from knowing our spirit deeper, and from preventing all negativity, preventing us from being more connected to each other. And as a collective. May your qualities of innocence, wisdom, purity, chastity shine bright within us. Just take a moment or two. Are aware Oops. that 
Parama Chaitanya. Sorry, I just. It's uh, Param Chaitanya Puja talk in Germany in 1989. Does everything. At least mentally we know that everything is worked out by the grace of Parama Chaitanya, <coughs> which is the power of the Adi Shakti. But still, <coughs> it is not so much in our heart. So much in our attention. <clears throat> we can consider Param Chaitanya like a ocean, <clears throat> like a ocean which contains everything within itself. Everything, all the working, everything is within its own limits. So it cannot be compared with anyone. You cannot compare it. Now if you see the sun, then from the sun the rays have to come out to work it. If you see somebody, say, a person who has an authority, he has to assert that power outside. So within himself he doesn't work it out. Say, for example, if there's a seed and inside the seed only the tree grows and the fruits come out and then they are sold and people eat it and everything is inside that seed, then that is Param Chaitan. So we are all enveloped in it. And only the waves that we see, and we are on the a waves, so we see it as dislocated, separated, <coughs> like we feel, uh, this is Germany or this is England, this is India. These are just folds of the sari of Paramachaita, which look separated, but they are not separated. They are continuous. So the connection is absolutely complete. If I pull a thread from here, the thread will throughout be pulled. In the same manner, this Parama Chaitanya is working within itself and there is nothing without. So when you are Sahaja Yogis, it pays special attention to you. Or I should say, it becomes absolutely one with you. Whatever you desire, whatever you want, also will be coming from the same Paramachaitan, if you are one with it. Like in a, say, turbulent ocean, 
some drops of water may fly into the air and start thinking that we are above, we are away from the world, away from the ocean, but again they have to fall into the same. So this formless energy, which has all the intelligence, all the coordination, all the organizations, all the computers, all the televisions, all that you can think of communication and of governing, of administration, and above all, it is the love. It is the love of God and love of your mother. So, to be one with this Paramachaitan, you have to know that you have to become the reality. For example, if you take a photograph of mine sitting here, maybe my photograph might give you living vibrations, all right, though it's a photograph. But if you take a photograph of somebody else, It will not work out Sahaja Yoga. The reason is that somebody else has not become the reality. It's like any other painting you see. Supposing we see a painting where it is raining. This rain does not nourish the flowers, it does not wears the cloth of the people who are there, it is static. So in ignorance, in ignorance, we just have the picture which is static about reality. And that is the reason why we think we can work it out, ourselves, everything. Now if somebody says that, I see this picture, all right, and I'll make the rain as a real thing, you cannot. Try anything. Put whatever color you like. It may appear, it will appear, with effort, but it will not the ha ha it will not have the capacity, nor the nature of reality. So human beings always deal with unreal things, thinking they are doing something great. We can get flowers which are real, of course, we can feel them. We can create plastic flowers, we can create paintings, exactly the same as they are, but we can't produce one flower on our own. We'll have to go to reality, is that the Mother Earth is going to produce it, or the Sun is going to help the Mother Earth.
सो ऑल ऑफ यू सहयोगीज हैव टू नो दैट इन रियालिटी यू डू नॉट डू एनीथिंग एंड एवरीथिंग इज डन बाय परमचैतन दिस इज द डिफरेंस बिटवीन ए नॉन सहयोगी एंड ए सहयोगी ए नॉन सहयोगी does not know and even if he knows this is not the truth in his heart it's not a part and parcel of his being but a sahajogi knows that reality is parama chaitanya and it is reality that works out of and then this reality is the divine law we always separate love from action to us love means uh some sort of a mad behavior towards a person it has no technical know how how to love it works without any understanding when we love somebody we don't know what do we do we think we love you tomorrow we start saying i hate you so how can it be love we love our own children love our own family love our own friends which is so unreal if it was real it would never have failed that you cannot definitely say that all right today you'll work for your son and be very selfish about your son but you can't say tomorrow how he will treat you or you will treat him but param chaitanya knows it knows how to express its love not only that but it's an eternal feeling of love which may change its hue color but the concern of that love will be the same the essence of love is concern even if supposing somebody does wrong the concern of the divine would be to correct that person concern what fit we say as hita is the benevolence so the concern for the benevolence will be all the time there whether it may appear to be sometimes cruel might appear to be affectionate might appear to be over indulgent whatever it may take a form like a wave whichever way it may look but actually it's for your benevolence it works for your benevolence not only your benevolence but the collective benevolence and it knows very well what is to be done how it is to be worked out it does not have to go and learn from anywhere because the complete knowledge of all this know how also in within itself it's such a storage of wisdom knowledge and love so it does not deviate once you become a sahajogi the concern for your benevolence is all the time there whether you are punished 
or not is a different point. Some people might get a job, some people will not get a job. With some people it will work out this way, with some people it will not work out that way. Then one may say that, how is it, this Param Chaitanya is behaving like this. It's all for your correction, it's a big churning. Whatever works out for your correction and is for your benevolence, if you understand this point, then you'll never be disappointed in your life. And it has no concern of its own benevolence because it is complete benevolence itself. It never thinks how it is going to be benevolent or helpful because it has no botheration about it. A man, say, who has everything, worldly things, still may be concerned about getting more, the greed, the rupee. But as it is the complete Purna, it has no greed. It's fully satisfied with itself. And because it is so powerful, so knowledgeable, that it has no doubts. No doubts of any kind. And because there's nobody which can harm it, it has no fear. And you all have now felt that Parama Chaitanya should give you a complete fearless life, a peaceful life and a joyous life. Like a child who finds his mother, then he stops crying. No more, now he's found his mother. In the same way you have found Parama Chaitanya and the connection within. So you don't have to worry for anything, don't have to think about anything, you don't have to plan about anything. Only thing is you have to jump into it, just jump into it and know that you have become part and parcel of the reality. This, if you have understood, I think we have done a big job. Now we are in Germany, and you know, in Germany, we'll just uh, meditate quietly, silently now, for a little while together, collectively.
Too strong, you? You feel like the Pam Chaitanya has brought us all together as one this morning. Um, for anyone that does have to uh, leave, we can just namaskar, type our kundalini, and put ourselves into bandhan. And if you wish to stay on just for a few more minutes, I'll just put on some music and um, we can continue to meditate collectively. Jai Shri Mataji. I just thought we might just um, also finish up with the last of the three great mantras. Om Twami Vasakshan Shri Kalki Sakshat Shri Sahasrara Swamini Mokshat Pradaini Mataji Shri Nimala Devi Namo Namaha
Thank you everyone for joining this morning. It's been lovely having your vibrations and your company. May you have a really uh, beautiful day. Mm -hmm. energy.